Hey, King Jesus, bless you guys. Happy Monday. Hope it's going great for you so far. I, I saw a fascinating article this morning, End Time Headlines. Um, but fascinating not for the reasons you would think, based on the headline. China is continuing to increase military spending and ramping up preparations for war with the U.S. Okay, so the article goes on to read uh, that Chinese shipyards are churning out military vessels vessels at a pace that the U.S. cannot match. Uh, Shanghai shipyards have already turned out two new aircraft carriers with a third expected to begin sea trials soon. And when you think of the American military spread thin, supporting Ukraine, Israel, falling short on its recruits, we're vulnerable here. Our porous southern border, we're already invaded. Uh, new York City is invaded. Uh, America has fallen and this shall be the way the, the whole world shall go, of course, during the tribulation. Okay, so Shanghai building up their military. But what I wanted to focus on was right here. Of even greater concern is the vast network of tunnels that the Chinese have been constructing. We are being told that this network of tunnels makes the Hamas tunnels under Gaza, quote, look like holes scooped by children in a sandpit. All right, all right, all right. So these vast network of tunnels. Um, yeah, it kind of repeats there. Okay, okay, they stretch for hundreds of miles and their plans are so closely guarded that Western intelligence agencies have little idea what is down there. Okay, and they're wondering, nobody knows why China has been putting so much effort into these tunnels. <clears throat> well, we know, those of us who know God's word, we definitely know why. Some of you may know where I'm going. Revelation chapter 6. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bond man, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Recently, we've also heard about some of the elite uh, selling a lot of stock. Uh, Jamie Dimon of uh, what J.P. Morgan, um, I think uh, Bezos again. A bunch of these guys, millions of dollars worth of stock, and uh, investing in underground bunkers. It's been reported. So everyone knows something's coming. Um, even those who would deny that it's King Jesus. You know, everyone has been created by the Creator, by Jesus. And, um, you know, that spirit, that soul, whatever is resounding within man, within all of us. For us who believe on Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit, so we know what's up. But everyone knows something is coming. So these ones think that they can, they can with their money, with these uh, underground bunkers, that they can be protected. <clears throat> and it's setting them up for, after the church is removed and tribulation begins... Uh, the scripture reads that they're going to know it's uh, King Jesus coming and his wrath, a, a day of wrath. Uh, the conquering king, he came meek and mild the first time, but when Jesus comes that second time, you know, he, he, he's uh, he better than Jesus, right? He's going to judge. So these people know it. Uh, they think they can rail against the Lord and they can find another way to eternal life <clears throat> apart from uh, through Jesus. So, this is another thing, a little thing we'll, uh, we'll check off our list and praise God for his word. Uh, there's nothing that should ever blindside us, that should ever be surprising to us. Uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, there's nothing new under the sun. What has been shall be again. So we can look for cycles, we can look for patterns, and God's word, one third of it is Bible prophecy. The Lord wants us to know uh, what's coming, and especially uh, of end times Bible prophecy. There is so much specific information. The book of Revelation, Daniel, um, Ezekiel, a lot of these prophetic books. <coughs> Even First Thessalonians 4. So the Lord loves us and loves you guys very much uh, to, to give us his word in this direction. And so when we see these things, we are not afraid. We, uh, we should not be stunned at all. We should be like, ah, this is what that was saying. Here it is. And it's, it's kind of exciting as you see the word of God batting a thousand and another example of perfection of omniscience of omnipotence
the Lord knows everything. The Lord is all powerful. When we see these examples, I don't know about you guys, but my faith is strengthened and I feel like I can uh, face absolutely anything. Praise the Lord. All right, guys, I just want to close this out <clears throat> now that we have that news on our radar from 2 Timothy chapter 1. I'll just read a few parts here. But is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. I spoke about immortality the other day. Uh, Jesus is the only one who has immortality, the scripture read. But we, being in King Jesus, <clears throat> we get to share in that uh, what a gracious, kind, loving God and creator uh, the Lord Jesus is. Uh, for the which cause I also suffer these things, nevertheless I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. So when we suffer through things, there's no shame. For we know, we know whom we have believed. Jesus, we have relationship with him. <clears throat> to those who will say, Lord, Lord, didn't we do all these things in your name? And he said, depart from me, I never knew you. I never had relationship with you, intimacy. Are you reading God's word? Are you desiring to hear from, from Jesus, his voice in scripture, uh, to be in prayer and communication? to uh, worship him, sing songs, hymns, spiritual songs. Um, if you're not there, grab scripture. Make sure you get saved. Make sure you are saved and converted. Make sure you have a different relationship with sin, that you don't love the world like you used to. Uh, if you're not there yet, keep reading scripture. Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So, what a blessing to have relationship with God. It's not something we need to go on a pilgrimage or climb a mountain. We can read God's word, draw near to him, and he'll draw near to us. Indeed, indwell us and change us, and we are saved, sealed with the Holy Spirit. That, that's, man, that's like the uh, winning the eternal jackpot right there. Praise the Lord. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is, which is in Christ Jesus. So these words I give you guys, I'm just reading from Scripture. There's nothing unique or special about me. But hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me. So if you guys are listening to this video right now and you hear me preaching this powerful, living word of God um, in faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. It's all about Christ Jesus. He is the bullseye and everything else is just details. Everything else is getting your dart on the dartboard, but I'm giving you the bullseye. It's Christ Jesus, period. End of the story. <laughs> That's what scripture is about. That's what life is about. You can go through your whole life and you do magnificent things, um, but you don't know Jesus. Oh, you've just wasted it all. So make sure, first things first, especially at this uh, stage of the game when we're so late in the game, Jesus could come today. Your life could be taken today. It could be over. Uh, make sure that you know that you know that you know <laughs> that you are filled with the Holy Spirit, that you know where you're going, home for the first time, to a place prepared for you by King Jesus and He Himself coming to take you to that place. There is uh, a day that one day shall be that day. Today could be that day. So uh, be excited, guys. Keep pushing through. Keep staying close to Jesus, just like a father holding the hand of, I'm sorry, a child holding the hand of their father. Just stay close to the Lord. And we're going to be just fine. We're going to be great. So appreciate you guys watching my video. Thank you so much. Please hit the thumbs up and consider sharing this video with one person. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. God bless you.